Praise the Lord. Another day of a sound word according to the scriptures, and it's regarding what's going on at this time. Because in this time, we have such a profound need, a different kind of need, because of anxiety. When we were kids at Christmas time, we that anxiousness to open a gift was in us, and we waited for that. In family reunions, we wait for the family to get together. We have that anxiousness. And it, to people that like to go to church, well, you know, they're happy and getting dressed to get the seat that they're going to uh, sit in and enjoy the service. And then there comes a negative side of it. Anxiousness becomes anxiety, which is, they get news that they're going to get cancer, that they're dying. And they start worrying and fear starts setting in. But in America, there's been, and throughout the world, there's been plagues that have been coming to people. Like um, the flus, many times, every winter we go through a flu. Chicken pox, we're in. Polio, AIDS, the Spanish influenza or the black uh, plague that was a long time ago. And it brings fear, worry, concern, nervousness, and anxiety. You know, fear and anxiety usually enters when a person focus, their focus is more into their fears and abilities and situations that, rather than in God's sovereignty and abilities. In Isaiah 12, 2 says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord is my strength and my song, something that you carry inside. So let's not be afraid. Let's stand firm on the Lord. The Bible says, for God has not given us a, a spirit of fear, but a power and of a sound mind. And this is where the sound mind comes in. When we follow the instructions of the government, of, the, of our country, of our state, all these doctors that are advising us what to do to protect ourselves, to have that space between people. Let's just do that. We can continue worshiping God, praying to God in our souls, in our hearts, wherever we are. But let's honor those um, requirements to keep safe. Shelter in place at home if necessary. There's no need to go out. There's no need to... Uh, party and so on, you can call people and wipe every place that you touch, that people touch, including your cell phones, your iPads, your computers, your doorknobs, anything that you think people touches, doesn't matter if it's family or friends, just wipe them and keep them clean and if you got to go out and you don't feel sure, wear a mask, wear gloves, all right? Thank you and God bless. Yeah.